kind. So for this one, it's so Macaulay duration. So annuity A pays one at the beginning of each year for three years, right? So that means that one, 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 right? That's for annuity A and annuity B pays um, for four years, right? So So beginning of four, so one, 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 one. So the Macaulay duration is 0.93 for A. So let's set up a Macaulay duration firsthand. So we know that one, first one payment times zero, we don't discount anything, right? Plus first payment one occurring at one, discount V plus one occurring at two, V squared, right? Over uh, general present value, so zero, oh, one, one, not discounting anything, plus uh, one times V plus one times V squared. I set this equal to 0.93. Right, and then both annuities offer the same yield rate. So we need to find the yield rate within this formula to calculate the Macaulay duration of annuity B. So first let's solve this one. So we can cross out this. We end up finding out that V plus two V squared equals to 0.93, I'm cross multiplying by the way, plus 0.93 V plus 0.93 V squared, right? So let's simplify. So I'm going to bring this to the other side. I'm going to do 1 minus 0.93. It's going to be 0 0.07 V. Then I'm gonna also bring this one to the other side to my and be 1.07 V squared, you know, uh, minus 0.93, right? Zero. Now, uh, yeah, so I've set up my quadratic equation. Everything is already in V squared format, so all I need to do is find V. So I'm going to set A equal to 1.07, B 0 0.07, and C negative 0.93. So I'm going to do negative 0 0.07 plus or minus the radical b squared minus 4 a c negative 0.93 over 2a. So now let's solve this whole quadratic. So I'm going to do 0 0.07 squared minus 4 times 1.07 times negative 0.93. I'm going to get 3.953 as a square root of that. It's going to be 1.99632. Now I'm going, to, I'm going to first do negative 0 0.07 minus 1.99632. Realize I didn't get a negative result, so I'm going to do negative 0 0.07 plus 1.99632. And then get a positive result 1.92632 divided by 1.07 times 2. So I'm going to get 0 0.900. And now, once I get that as equaling V, that means that I can find the Macaulay duration of annuity B. So we got V is equal to practically 0.9, right? So for this one, let's see here that V 
first payment of one times duration of zero, no discounting, plus first payment of one times one, discounting by B, plus payment of one times two, B squared, and then same here, payment of one times three, three B to three, over general of payment one, no discounting, plus V plus V squared plus V to the three. Now this is the MACD of annual V. All I have to do is plug in 0.9. So I'll get rid of this. Then I'll just do 0.9 plus, plus uh, two times 0.9 squared plus 3 times 0.9 cubed. It's going to be 4.707. See, I'm going to do 1 plus 0.9 plus 0.9 squared plus 0.9 to the 3. <laughs> Now I'm going to get 3.439 at the bottom. And I'm going to do 4.707 divided by 3.439. And then I'm going to end up getting 1.3687 as the answer. So that means that the answer is going to be B.